The Texter started their title defense of the PBA Commissioner's Cup, grinding it out with sister team Miralka Bolts Friday at Caneta Astrodome. It was their first outing since they won the Philippine Cup and the first time that their import Omar Hassan Shamhan will see action in what turned out to be a fitting opening game for the Texters and their reinforcement. Shamhan was 0 for 9 at the basket while Jared Famous, the Bolts import, managed 6 points equaling Williams' output who top scored for the Texters in the first canto as Alapag and Aguilar turned in identical fours. Jason Castro managed 3 markers while Ali Peak came in with 2. Talking Tex, who managed only four practices in the offseason, shot poorly from the field as the quarter ended at 19 to 22 in favor of Miralco. The second quarter drew a different story as Shamhan shook off his jitters and began to aggressively make his presence felt from inside the paint. He took the lead in scoring column for the Texters with 6 points. The half ended at 45-42, to Talking Tex was up by 3, but there was a lot to be said about the Texters' defense and Coach Chot was quick to point this out in the dugout. They can score the fast play on the half court against us. It's all transition. I don't know how Cardona can get a rebound and go all the way for him. Sino ba kao niya, Larry? J.D., who's got the Cardona? Who's he guarding when it's our ball? Who's he guarding? Why is he catching the ball, rebounding it, and going all the way? They got some transition where they pass and make good pass and lay up, but that's unforgivable. Unforgivable, one guy catching it in the backcourt and going all the way to the layup. You can do that against Parr, not against this team. If he's coming here, he's going one on five, f***ing drop him. We're missing layups, Larry missed two layups, JD missed two layups, Omar missed a, a thousand layups. And then we're giving everything back here on layups. Not one thing. Jimmy took a three-point shot here. We were all in our spots. Jimmy took a three-point shot. We're going to rebound and took a layup here. How? I'll tell you how. We're just playing lazy. It's just a champion team playing like they're superstars. It's just a champion team playing like they're prima donnas. Nobody wants to bust their butt. You gotta f***ing get on defense. Let's go! <laughs> and next time our daughter gets a court to court, the whole five comes off the court. Every five guy, every one of the court comes off the court. No more f***ing court to court shots. Here we go, TNT, we are TNT. Chris Ross draws first blood for the bolts in the third, but Jared Dillinger quickly retaliates with a drive of his own. It was a seesaw battle in the beginning, but a couple of stops by the Texters results to six straight unanswered points, forcing the Bolts to sue for timeout. Talk and Tex led by as much as 11 points, only to be silenced minutes before the end of the quarter as the Bolts overhauled the Texters' lead, evening up the score to close the third at 68 all. The Bolts are up by two halfway through the final quarter. A timely block by the Texters import Omar Shamhan sparks a fast break play anchored successfully by Jared Dillinger. Shamhan asserted himself in the paint by blocking shots and pulling down both defensive and offensive rebounds. It was evident that his confidence was given a much needed boost by his teammates as he continued to score now even from beyond the arc. The Texters are up by four but fumbles this opportunity to widen the margin as Castro misses from inside the paint. Jared Famous sinks a layup in the ensuing play to come within two points of the Texters at 89-87 with two minutes to go in regulation time. 
Alapag couldn't get this one to fall and the Bolts cash in on the miss with a foul to boot that sends Famous to the line. He makes his bonus shot and in a blink of an eye, Meralco is up by one. Castro tries to set up a play but decides to take Maris into his own hands and cuts through the lane but fails to sink one in. The Bolts have the ball. Castro redeems himself with a steal off Cardona and passes to Alapag who finds Del Campo at the corner who also couldn't make his shot go in. The ball goes back to Castro and he signals for timeout. The textures are down by a point with 38.5 seconds to go. Castro once again orchestrates play, cuts the middle and again his layup falls short but Williams is right behind to follow up and the tables are turned as the textures are now up by one. The Bolts call for another timeout. The Bolts inbound but the textures pull off a successful stop as another timeout is called with 20 to go. Del Campo inbounds to Shamhan and Shaman is fouled. Del Campo inbounds for the Texters once again and finds Castro who passes it back to him, gives it to Alapag. Alapag is fouled putting Maralco in penalty situation. Alapag misses his first, his second shot from the line goes in making it 92 to 90 with 13.4 to go. Chris Frost against Castro, he backs up on Castro and scores. One play left to try and bag the win. Del Campo has the ball. He lays up and the ball hits the rim. And the game goes to overtime. The textures are confronted with a 0-4 blast by the Bolts in the opening seconds of overtime. Omar sinks both of his bonus shots after being fouled in the ensuing play. Talkatex played tough D but were really off on their outside shots. They find themselves down by 5 after this field goal from Chris Ross. Castro's 3 followed by Shamhan's reverse layup gave the Texers a 3 point lead prompting the Bolts to call for timeout with a little over a minute to go in overtime. Funasher pulls down a big rebound and passes the ball to Alapag who was fouled. Jimmy splits his penalties making it 196 in the dying seconds. Shamhan pulls down another rebound and closes out the ball game with two penalties giving the Tropunk Texters a 102-96 win, their first in the conference. The Talking Tex import top scored for their team with 24 points pulling down 20 big rebounds and managing 4 blocks. Oh man. It was a rough game for me, you know, first game back, but I just kept playing, kept working, and the, the team just rallied around me, so it was, I ended up being able to, to come through and play okay, and we won, which is what really matters, so it was a good game, first game out of the way, and now now it's cruising. You know, just really trying to get comfortable with the guys, which has happened fast, you know, it's only four days of practice, but I feel like I've been playing with them for a while, so now we got this win out of the way, we'll have a few days to practice, and, and by next game, we'll really be rolling. And, uh, you know, we won tonight at 20 and 20, and we, haven't been, we didn't play great. So when we play great, it's going to be special.